In episode 4 of Agatha All Along, Agatha shows off a scar on her elbow which she attributes to the Daughters of Liberty. The implication is that she fought and defeated them getting the scar courtesy of a knitting needle. We don't get any more to the story, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have some significance. Today on Screen Rant, let's delve into whether Agatha ever fought this historical team, and if she might in the future. So they'll catch up when they can. Oh. The Daughters of Liberty in the comics. In the Marvel Comics universe, the Daughters of Liberty are a newer addition, having been introduced at the end of Captain America No. 7 in 2019. However, their history dates back to colonial America, where in real life 1765, the actual Daughters of Liberty were formed to aid in protests against Great Britain. In the comic book version, the Daughters continued throughout generations as a powerful female force to keep safe the American dream of life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness and all that jazz to quote Misty Knight. They are led by a person known as the Dryad, with the recently revived Peggy Carter taking the role in modern day. In issue 19, Agatha Harkness shows up to give us a little history lesson to help retcon, well, history. She explains that the group she helped form started out as the Daughters of Light and was trained in both sorcery and science, and even shows us that Harriet Tubman was herself a dryad. For Agatha, the group was initially founded as the Daughters of Light to protect humanity against its own excesses, its own powers. This eventually led to a young Peggy Carter being recruited and receiving her first mission from the Daughters of Liberty. That mission? To watch over Steve Rogers and make sure he didn't fall into the wrong hands. So really, despite being a newer and less well-known addition to the comics, the Daughters of Liberty are kind of a big deal. They even helped Steve clear his name after being framed for the murder of Thunderbolt Ross. As for whether Agatha ever fought the group in the comics, no, absolutely not. Instead, she helped them by essentially being their defense against the dark arts teacher. Agatha is far more benign as a comic book character than she is in the MCU, so the chances of her having helped form the Daughters of Liberty is pretty small, and it can be assumed that the MCU Agatha wasn't referring to the superhero team, but rather the historical group they were based on. Still, with our growing roster of female heroes, perhaps the Daughters of Liberty will still show up in some capacity in the future. Thanks for watching Screen Rant, stay tuned for more Marvel news.